guys. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Paul Berry, family from the gaming. And with me is Team Gamer. Rated and we're going to do a react to the limited run games, uh, 2024 digital showcase. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, yes, I was. And look oh, at that. Gecko Man. Gex saved E3. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you at E3 2024. Oh, E3's dead. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Bunch of people are saying that, Jordan. Let's go back in time, shall we? I got your release date. My name is Reggie. I'm about Wait, are we on the right man. one? Right here, taking names, and we're about making games. I, uh, no, we're on the right one. Okay. There you go. One million truths. Wow. I love how last year they're like, we saved E3. No, oh, E3's dead. The future refused to change. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Limited Run Games 2024 E3 press conference. Here's your host, Josh Fairhurst. Hello, and welcome to our latest E3 press conference. If you're anything like me, you've spent the whole year foaming at the mouth for hot new physical game reveals. Well, have I got a few of those for you. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Nothing Empire. about being wrong. We will be able to <laughs> decimate the rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. Guess we're not going to talk Emperor about the wrong. Be most pleased. Continue with your project. It doesn't really look much better. I mean, a little crisper and cleaner, but not much. You know what I'm saying? The dark trooper. But whatever. A new stormtrooper that can take out a rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. And it looks kind of herky jerky, too. Maybe it's just me. Java? What have you done with Jan? Yep. That thing down there is any indication of what we're dealing with. We're gonna need more fire for All right. I was making sure our audio is on. Tomorrow, Star Wars Dark Forces. Wow, one of my favorite classic Star Wars games, remastered by the expert artisans at Night Dive. How about some more exciting reveals? I, I just love that as long as they're a warehouse. Full yeah, of boxes. it's pr probably their warehouse. I think I saw a stack of, of Valis collection. Them. Probably. I mean, probably their games they're selling. Well, I mean, they got to the game somehow. No, nah, it's not there at all. It's 16 bit. It's the Valus games. A little blood there. These are old Metroidvania. <coughs> Valus 4. One person clapping. <laughs> Main world. That's What's fate? A slug cat. Prey. A predator. Somebody wanted to be uh, Limbo. As the old world died, a new ecosystem evolved. In a land where even rain can kill, each creature struggles for its own survival. Each beast has a place on the food chain, which it seeks to deny. And through this ruined landscape, strange monstrosities and ancient mysteries, Slug Cat journeys along. Oh? It is a search for shelter, a search for answers, a search for hope. Trying a chat working with it being glitchy.
This next collection features a classic 90s beat em up that almost became Streets of Rage 4. Hey, Proton Man, thanks for coming by. Thirty two bit. Looks like Final Fight though. Mace. Smasher. He smashed that taxi. Fighting force. Where he gets VR glasses. Lift the guy on fire. Fighting Force 2. So, a Fighting Force collection 1 and 2. That's crazy. Like what, what most people, I love charming 2D platformers. So, take a look at this next one that will be digitally and physically. I'm sorry, Noah's gone. Just next door, don't worry about it. Okay, well, we're doing this right now. Somebody doesn't seem to understand colors. <laughs> like, how could you pick such ugly colors? I just don't get it. Thanks, Proton Man. Yeah, those colors are just hideous. Wolfenstein 2 release on the Switch required a 9 gigabyte download containing the last few chapters of the story. We're excited to announce that we'll be doing a new physical release of the game with the entire single player campaign complete on, on cartridge. Well, that's cool. It'd probably be M though. Moving on. Announcement direct to you. What is this? Some collection too. I have no idea what that is though. That what is, is that? I think the first letter is J and then the third word. Our next announcement is a game based on everyone's favorite what? real American heroes. G.I. Joe? Oh, Wrath of Cobra. Take on Cobra. This looks cool. We saw it during some game fest too. Oh, this tanks. You and your friends don't stand a chance. Roblox and Gung Ho and Snake Eyes. Next year. Our friends at Clear River Games have several amazing new games coming <laughs> that will be available physically from Limited Run. It's like a PlayStation 1 game. Classic mecha shooter. Robot anime inspired gameplay. Unless it says inspired, doesn't mean it actually is. 
customize your mech. Quality of life rewinds, okay. Welcome to 1997. Oh, 21 to 23. Oh, it's a Saturn tribute. Huh. Cool. Collector's edition. Ninja Man. They look like Snow Brothers. Seriously. Little snow guy. I'm sorry, but um. Snowman. It's the middle of summer. Can't be Look, you turn people into snowballs and shoot them at the boss. Wow, you can change your hat. Does that do anything to help you? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to snowball and roll around, that would be my my uh nah, that'd be my jam. Be, I'd rather be a rock. Defeat all enemies. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> See? Snow Brothers. Snow Brothers Wonderland. Game by Bitwave. Two. Gimmick two. No, Switch, PS5, PS4, Xbox, Steam. I've made it no secret that I'm a big fan of Sega's Dreamcast, so this reveal will come as no surprise. Rapid Eye Movers, Wolfram Warrior, Sega. Yeah, I don't seem to remember this one. You gonna do something? Oh! We're playing racquetball by ourselves. Oh, it's the new PlayStation handheld we need to the phone in. No. No, that's what it is. How do you think they have the one for... Oh, it's in some VR game. PlayStation VR. What does this have to do with Dreamcast? Was this on Dreamcast first? Yeah. See Smash. They're showing all this... PlayStation VR 2. VR multiplayer. So is this going to be on VR? Or? I think it might be getting so sick by now. Oh, it might be okay. I also don't show family from the gaming. See Smash your eyes. Okay. I'm extremely excited to announce this next one. A 3D platformer from some of the former developers of Sonic Mania. Oh, remember this one? Penny's Big Breakaway. You have like a yo-yo. I think it was only like a digital download, so maybe now it's gonna copy finally. your yo-yo too.
figure yo-yo changes over time. Get to the top of the golden cake. One of the greatest action-adventure games of the sixth generation gets an updated release and physical run from Limited Run Games. Oh, we reviewed this one. It did not do well. It was horrible. Jade, 20 years ago, your parents put you under my care. We came to Hillis. Back then, it was a peaceful planet. I had hoped to raise you there safely. the gates of Hillis. They're coming. This peaceful mining planet in System 4 is now completely encircled by the Dark Armada. General Can't go there, Jade. If you want, I'll go alone. Okay, we'll go together. But I'm sticking to you like bees on honey, whether you like it or not. Wow. A rock of deep. I see no reason to buy this one. I have the original. I have a lot on the GameCube, I think. The reason that, you know why the gaming media, the worldly gaming media like this game so much? You play a journalist. A journalist is the hero. She's a journalist and she's a hero. And they're all like, oh, we're journalists. They gave, they made, they made us a hero. I was just like, I, I can't remember all the, I have to check the review. There's lots of problems with this game. Beyond good and evil. Paige, you've been hiding this from me for the past 20 years. So, wait, it, it, it releases June 25th, but you can pre order it and in now, July. A what? new pair of licensed speed em up games. Language, you people. I think they might be like nineties. Exciting physical games to reveal. It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. Oh, Hitman. He's the perfect clone. Skip the Hitman. He's in. 
A classic PlayStation game with gorgeous cell shaded visuals is coming to modern platforms for the first time in its original form. Bummers don't work, Kyle. This looks familiar. Fear effect or something? Effect. And we're not done yet. We have even more exciting physical game releases ahead. Oh, Starship Trippers. War has begun. At the frontier of the Federation, our peaceful colonies are under attack. Who's our enemy? Ruthless. Barbaric. And downright ugly, the bug. But fear not, loyal citizen. The deep space vanguard is ready. Da -na -na. The ships and the bases. We have the weapons. But I have the high ground. We oh, he's got a rocket launcher in the back, right? Soldiers like you. Yep. And you. Called it. Tiger spotted. Yes, even you, trooper. Join up now. And do your part. So you can build like a base and then also go first person. And remember, service guarantees citizenship. General Rico here. You report to me now, troopers. Okay. Oh, summer. It's, we're in the summer. This next one is the summer. beloved 360 cult classic, finally getting a remaster and a physical release from a limited run. Dragami Games. Oh. Yeah. Chainsaw. -y. Yeah, lollipop chainsaw. Yeah, lollipop chainsaw. We pop. Physical pre orders for Lollipop Chainsaw Repop will open next month. Keep your eyes peeled for further updates. Before we get to our next big announcements, we're going to show you some new updates and trailers for games that we announced in the past. Double shake. I vaguely remember this one. <laughs> Remember the giraffes? Oh, yeah. On rockets. Giraffes on rockets. Okay. It looks 32 bit. That's nice. We're talking emojis. Coming soon. There's their update. It's coming soon. Oh, 2025. Okay. I guess that's soon. Six months from Tonight, now. Tonight, on this special live edition of Ghosts, it won't be us going into the haunted house for a change. This is where the magic happens. No, we've got some friends who are going to try and spend the night. In fact, here they come now. Almost every room in this house has a story to tell. And tonight we're hoping those rooms are going to divulge their secrets. Mm, no, thank you. 
No, I explain. What, what, what is going on? There are girls in the house. Because um, there are actually some, it's just some volunteers. Are you, you think this is some sort of joke? This is not, you could, their lives are in danger. You can't leave them in that house. Everyone has their windows tight shut and their curtains shut because of the long lady passing. I've got absolutely no memory of what happened after that. PC, Mac, and consoles, 2025. I didn't die yet, so I'm good. Yep, I'm not going there. Hi, I'm Thomas Guinan, lead developer of Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. Everyone's favorite babies, Tommy, no. Chucky, Phil, and Lil, are all here for a this brand one I have new to get classic to style platforming adventure. Here at the Mix Games, we've teamed up with Wallride to bring back the era of awesome 8-bit licensed video games. And when we say 8-bit, we mean it. This game was developed from the ground up to run on the original NES. But we didn't stop there. We developed the game with modern audiences in mind as well. The entire game has been given a gorgeous, fully hand-drawn makeover by Angry Metal. You can choose between the two art styles with the flip of a switch. Play in classic 8-bit mode or glorious HD anytime you'd like. If you're That's a fan of classic 8-bit platforming with a modern twist, you owe it to yourself to play Rugrats Adventures in Game Land. Coming soon I do like the to HD Nintendo one Switch, better. PlayStation, Xbox, you know and Steam. Might, I think it looks better. Mm, yeah. August. This next block focuses on our Carbon Engine technology. The Carbon Engine is a technology we developed in-house to help our partners revive their classic games. Some of these games have been announced, but others are all new exciting announcements. Enjoy. So you're a fly. Uh, no. I've been gone for some time. Gex. The gecko. <laughs> I have some of these games, I believe. My name has echoed through the shadows. <laughs> All bit. those games thought to be lost in time, like tears in rain. People keep asking if I'm back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Go to LRG for some GEX, baby. Oh, Shanta. Yeah, I remember this one from last year. They're doing some way you can change levels or something. I think it was a gonna be a Game Boy Advance game, but they never released it. Yeah, Shenta Advance. Let's get it. Let's get it. I don't decided to actually release it recently. So, lost game tape. Ninja Gaiden?
Huh. Ninja 5 -0. That's interesting. Oh, that clock tower one. Remember the clock tower one? It's like a photograph. Where did everyone go? Is anyone here? If you look at the photograph, does it make you laugh? Big move is a belly flop. I would prefer you put them in one full edition, but you know what I'm saying? Like put them both together. Not two separate releases. Yeah, he was just saying that they were working on Tomba Remastered 2. think that through very well. Thank you for tuning in to this year's LRG3 press conference. We're hopeful we announced something that surprised and delighted you. But it wouldn't be LRG3 without just one more thing. He, he gets new. Oh, he gets new. On the classics. Were you expecting someone else? Bubsy. Bubsy. The perfect collection. What could possibly go wrong? Carbon engine. Awful thing. Lots of things. Alright. So that was Limited Run Games 2024. What do you think? Oh, it's alright. They had a couple here there. Um, he wasn't as goofy this year as he was last year. I do think it was funny that he was... Uh, so terribly wrong about oh we're gonna bring back e3 uh, we, we, and then e3 is like forever canceled and it's just like ah insta fail dude you failed but hey you know whatever um like i said there's a couple in there i'm probably have to go check out their website from time to time and see if there's things we want to try to pre-order from them 
uh, I, I look for more like retro collections where I can get some, you know, where I can get a good yeah. deal. If I if I can spend forty fifty bucks on a game from them and get like, you know, two three games in a, a compilation versus having to spend like two three hundred to go buy the older versions of the games. That you know, that's how I look at it, if I can save money. Um. So. That's kind of our thoughts on the limited run games, uh, 2023. Like, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you have, you have a wonderful one. rest of your day.